Hello everyone, we are back to do our target drive. Um, if you saw my last video, I am very happy so far. I'm not trying to give my hopes up too much. Again, there are very few things I expect to be better in this version, but so far, I'm impressed. This is one that I expect to be better, and unfortunately, oh wait, it should stop. Oh, man. Okay. That was a full-on mess-up, everyone. Wow, okay. The one thing that's supposed to be better about this version. The one, the one thing that is supposed to be better about this version. The one thing that's supposed to be better about this version completely messed up. I wasn't able to pay attention, but it just, if it floored it, it would have made it. But the person, there's a truck behind me. Well, actually, you can see that. I bet he was like, what is this person doing? The one thing that's supposed to be better at, unprotected lefts. Well, okay, truck cook style unprotected lefts. I had to press the accelerator, so that was, that's worse everyone that's worse it, it and this is only 40 mile an hour maybe 45 for some cars that drive through here they will drive 45 mile an hour that's not fast traffic and it just it could not do it for some reason i mean maybe it just got unlucky maybe it's just because i just started the drive and then i have some time to you know get get used to it no excuses it, it completely failed both times right there, so that's two disengagements. Um, maybe we just got unlucky. There are some previous drives, I've done this route with zero disengagements before, so. Well, the first drive was great, everyone. The second drive's not starting off too well. Um, we'll see if we make any more mistakes going for the rest of this drive, but uh, let's see how it slows down for this light up here. See, I already see it's a red light. The car doesn't even recognize it. It should be slowing down already. It's got to jam on the brakes. And uh, see right there, jammed on the brakes. And Onyx, my co-pilot, has got jammed in the back of the seat. Sorry, doggy. Um, because uh, it didn't recognize the light soon enough. And when you're in the mountains, you're going downhill towards a red light. It needs to go full region further back to be able to not jam on the brakes. So it wastes energy and it's just not smooth for the passengers. Um, so if that is a camera limitation, like they, they can still say it's self-drive and it's safer than a human, but it's just never gonna be smooth and it's not something someone's gonna wanna ride in uh, as a robo-taxi. It's, it's just, it's true. Um, my my parents, my sister, my grandparents, <laughs> all my family, all my all my friends, uh, all the ones that aren't Tesla, do not want to ride with full self driving. They just don't like it. It's not smooth, and that's the biggest factor I think holding the general public back from liking something like this. Sure, it's in beta. Sure, it's in beta, and it's not expected to be perfect, but you're setting in stone that perception to the general public that I'm like, hey, this is what full self driving is. It feels like a toddler just jerking around super unspooth and stuff and like, and the phantom braking and everything. I, they can, they can work on that. If they can fix something as complex as Chuck's turn, um, they can work on that smoothness and at least get it to a decent level. It is, don't, don't read me wrong um it is substantially better than it was even like a year ago even it was especially two years ago like well, just under two years ago when it got released october of 2020 it's just substantially better but i look at this look at this this car stopped up here and it should have been slowing down way sooner it slowed down pretty good but it should have been slowing down at least 20 feet sooner i'd say Oh, the person doing a U-turn. Okay. Um, but it sees this traffic up ahead. At least I do. 
you can tell it's seen further up ahead than it used to, which is good, but it still needs to see even further still. Especially with the with the narrow field of view camera. Uh, the And this type of stuff, with this version, I do not like. Um, they're actually rumored that the employees are testing a dot release right now, which they found a bug. Maybe this is the bug. I I don't know. I there obviously I had the crash on the other drive. It wasn't super great, but um, to have that crash. But everything else has been pretty okay, except for when it comes up to a car, it doesn't slow soon enough. It's, I I don't know what's causing that, but that's behavior I dislike quite a bit. Okay, so what's happening here, it's, it slowed well for that van, it stayed a little bit too close, let's make sure, well maybe it's because of this, let's try adjusting my distance, maybe that's what's causing that, normally I have it at a full 7 at the furthest distance, but um, it's, it didn't reaccelerate as naturally in this version as it did in 10.12, uh, once the car turns off, it should start accelerating as the car is turning, but it stopped doing that. Um, in this version, which is interesting. So that that's, seems to be a regression. Uh, not anything serious, and I expect that would probably be fixed again in, in the next release or next major release, but that's something to note for sure. Like this right here, we have this car's blinker on. It's obstructed by a bicycle. Okay, that's a little bit better. It still could have been, it still should have accelerating. Let me rephrase that. It should have not decelerated as much and should have stayed going the same speed, speed a little bit more. Basically, it could have been smoother. <laughs> so right here is an interesting spot. Okay, so that's improved. That's improved. That's good with that car cutting out in front. It didn't jam on the brake. Let's see if it's going to continue going for this green light here. And it is. That's good. Ooh. Okay, so it swung out a little bit much. I'm going to record that. Uh, it should not be swinging out like that. But otherwise, that did better than the previous version on that uh, particular light. Now, what I'm curious here, um, I don't know if this is routing data, map data, something else that causes this. I'm not going to change our route to get rid of this waypoint yet but soon up here it always wants to turn on the left blinker to get over it doesn't need to get over there's like no point for it to get over on this road I'm not sure. it's somewhere right in here let's see if it's gonna do it I'm hoping that's fixed um, now I have we have gotten 2022 map data since at the last time I've done this route so that very well could have fixed that problem. It appears it hasn't done it, so that's great. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this and just have it route back to target. Oh, uh, no. Maybe it's because it rerouted. So we're gonna we're gonna blame it on that. Um, because I just rerouted. And maybe it kind of freaked out where, where it was when, as it was rerouting. But that, that's an improvement over the previous version. I'm actually not sure which version I did. No, I did do 10.12.2, or I did 10.12.1, or 10.12.2, I think it's 10.12.2, I did in Asheville, and to be honest, everyone, I recorded those videos, and the reason I didn't, uh, I didn't upload them, because it was mostly because of me. I was not in a great mood that day, and the videos were, um, they were, uh, it was poor, it was very poor performance. Uh, there were a couple of small improvements, but everything, it just, it, it really put me down that I'm like, it wasn't better at all. Well, this, this is, um, it's been, you know, a month and a half since I've done that test. We got new map data and we have a new version. 
So that's a significant enough change to warrant coming up to Asheville. Besides the fact I kind of I had to pick something up at REI, and so it's on the way. So we'll, it kind of works out. I love when things just kind of work out like that. And I'm in a much better mood today. So I hope everyone, hope everyone else is having a fantastic day, um, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this. I appreciate you watching. And um, these videos are. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. The, um, I'm glad you're watching them, and I'm glad I get some feedback from you guys. I appreciate trying to improve this content as much as it's, it's a little hobby for me. Um, I do enjoy doing the testing and figuring out, trying to determine what the car is thinking. It's really quite intriguing to, um, to kind of just talk it out, especially if any of you guys want to make a discussion down in the comments about what you think's happening or like you know let's have a little debate like oh the car stopped here why did it stop here was it for this reason was it for that reason blah 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 uh, i love having those little debates like no one like i mean unless you're like honestly even the experts no one can be truly 100 percent confident like what happened except for maybe tesla that can like, look in the back end data so i can see actually what the car is thinking but it's, it's fun to speculate that's what we're here for. So the only reason it got in this lane, and that's appropriate, this guy in the truck was just slowing down so much. And I would have got stuck at that light if it didn't change lanes. So that's great. That was, I think that was perfect behavior. I wouldn't probably have personally changed lanes Unless I was just like in a not so great mood. I don't know. I'm just not in a rush today. Um, I love when I don't have to be in a rush anywhere. And it's like just, just the day is wide open. And I can just go whatever I want to do. And everything kind of just flows great. Um, so, and appropriately, that was actually a good spot to get over anyway. Based on where we're going. This is the lane we need to be in long term. If you look at this map data here, my goodness. Um, actually, well, actually, no, this is it. Hey, yeah, I. <laughs> it was. Okay, so that's new. Um, that's. No, don't get over that way. Okay, so I had to cancel that lane change. Um, okay, so car. <laughs> the car knew I was looking at the screen instead of looking forward. That's that's good. Um, I, I, I obviously it, it it called me out. That's good. I, I like being called out. Um, but let's see. Let's look at this map data at an angle. I'm still looking forward. Uh, it's a divergent diamond. I think is what you call this. No, it goes on the opposite side of the road, um, and then you cross over it for the highway. It helps traffic flow a lot. Um, yeah, but. Um, no, you don't. I'm gonna cancel that. You want to be in this lane? Wait. Oh, hold, hold up. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> That's my fault. The car's right. I I don't take this enough. I take this like once a month going through here. I don't I don't go up this way too often anymore. Um. Yeah. So it needs to stay in this lane though until it's past this. Um. Oh no no no. Oh darn it. Um. I'm not, that's not going to be a disengagement because it, interestingly, it was still following the previous nav route even though I canceled it. That's, I noticed that another time on this. Um, let's see if it's going to correct itself. It needs to go straight. Yay, it did. So that's fantastic. So it, it even One though I, left onto I no, road. okay, we'll see what it does. It's not in the turn lane. It needs to know it's not in the turn lane. Right here's the turn lane. And so once it goes forward, it needs to know, hey, I can't turn here. No. Okay, you can turn off, it won't. Wow, I'm probably confusing the heck out of everyone. It wouldn't let me turn the blinker off. Um, 
it probably would have made it. It probably would have made it into that turn lane and got over and done it, but that's not what I want to do. I want to keep this route consistent. It needs to get in this turn lane here. Now turn left off Wow. Um, that was a complete mess up. It, was n it wasn't going to get in the turn lane. So, I, I do wonder, um, and this is obviously not an excuse for the car, but I do wonder if the car, because I changed the nav route, the car is getting freaked out because it didn't like that I changed the nav route on it so quickly. I've noticed that if you, I'm sure you guys have watched um, Chris's videos, Dirty yeah, Tesla. He has a lot of issues. Every time he changes the nav route, he, his issues pop up. But I've noticed that in his videos, I've noticed that on mine. Um, I don't think Chuck ever really does that, but I, I, the car seems to freak out and does not be able to handle the situation if you change the nav route right before it has to turn or something. Um, it's still messed up nonetheless, and so that's going to be another disengagement there. Uh, so that's three disengagements for this drive. Two at the very beginning and one thin, and let's see if it does this correctly. And it did. So that is an improvement on this version, I can confidently say. Um, it's not perfect, but um, it's definitely an improvement. I'm wondering if Mike is still here. Mike said he was, I uh, texted him right before, he was actually doing Asheville too. Um, he's doing the Carolina Lane, so we're gonna be able to see each other's videos, um, which is great. Um, see how each of us work. He has his, um, oh, that, oops. I didn't turn into my normal spot. Well, we're getting a little bit of bonus new footage. This is not where I normally go, but that was a smooth turn. Okay, so I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna end it here, everyone. <laughs> we don't need to need to be. This is. It should have turned earlier. I wasn't paying attention, but um, not the best it's ever done here. That's that's uh. As I can confidently say, not the best it's ever done. Um, if I did it again, it could be. That's that's the funny thing about this. If I did this exact route again, it could be the best it ever did. But we just got unlucky. Um, and it clearly shows some issues with this version. And I think that's why they're making another point release. It's because it, it shows that everyone that I can tell, or everyone that had dot .69, Chris, um, uh, Chuck, you know, everyone uh, seems to indicate that 69.1 is worse than dot .69 was. So, um, that's just kind of the way it goes with software updates. Um, I think it is better than 10.12. Onyx, we're just stopping in a pit stop, buddy. Um, it is, um, it is better than 10.12, but it is, um, I wish it didn't make the two first mistakes. The map mistake at the end, I think, is acceptable. The first two, for unprotected lefts, were supposed to be better, which implies that it can see through around the obstructions better, and it can detect traffic at a distance further away. But it failed to do both of those, um, on this, on this version. At least for that particular case. Um, we'll see on the next version, though, everyone. Um, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to head up to REI. I'm going to skip those videos, and then I'm going to straighten the Asheville after this. Thanks for watching, everyone.